and today we're eating more bugs yay so um as part of another wedding hamper we got our dear friends have um donated mostly crickets actually i think it was the crickets that i liked or was it the locusts i can't remember crickets i think are very popular <clears throat> but yeah so I think there's um, more cricket stuff out there yeah especially if they're the bigger ones um so um yeah we've got a lot more buggy treats to uh to try today um one i know that we have tried before which is the um well i have the the crunchy critter ones um have i've I not tried these i don't think you have i bought these off the back of just the plain old oh bugs. Well, i haven't bought those i haven't tried those though. no these are uh so uh mill worms with fava beans and peas lovely smoked paprika flavor does it come with chianti <laughs> no um what else have we got we have some salted toffee crickets okay, so nice. <laughs> some smoky barbecue crickets which are here um what else have we got these are called small oh they're crackers Hmm. Made with cricket flour, rosemary and thyme. Oh, so that looking They've forward to that. And we've got a cereal bar called Cricket. So um yeah, this is this is uh, a crunchy cricket bite. Oh, so it's cocoa chirp, apparently, whatever that oh. means. Um it's... that's a play on the word chip. <laughs> oh, possibly. But do cricket <coughs> do crickets chirp? I believe they do. Oh, okay. So this is pistachio, cocoa nib, and chia. So um, yeah, okay. Um, should we give? Should we do the one that I've had before? Yeah, go on. Because I know what this tastes like. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to like it, am I? I think you are. I preferred these. I quite liked. They do them in salt and pepper flavour as well, and salt and vinegar. Gourmet cricket. They were really nice. So um. Oh, oh that is quite a mixture isn't it it's like it's like bombay mix but with bombay bugs yeah but with worms i don't know if you oh, can yes they are see that i, I was ex i was expecting crickets but... i don't know why no i think this is the only one without crickets so all these things that look like cornflakes they must be your fava beans well, I don't know what a fava bean looks like. So. That apparently. <laughs> I suppose the smaller ones are peas. Yeah, the, the little green ones are peas. Yeah. But I really liked these. They look yellow to me, but that's the flavouring. I see it more as like a Bombay mix sort of thing. Mm. All right. It's very earthy. Yeah, I think... I mean, there's no getting away from the fact that you're eating bugs here. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Probably the most sustainable protein on the planet, but, you know. Well, in, they're, good, they're good for the, for the planet because um, they emit fewer greenhouse gases and require less land and water to produce than cattle. <coughs> yes, but you also need, like, a fraction of a cow... To feed a human whereas you're gonna need like tens of thousands of crunchy critters but did you know Probably. gram for gram our mealworms contain more protein than beef more fiber than broccoli and more healthy fats than salmon so these are these are good for you these are is that why i don't like them probably all right but i think the thing the good thing is here is there's a lot of things in with the bugs yeah to um sort of all right yeah i mean as bugs go they taste fairly <clears> average <throat> what do you want to go for next oh lady's choice well i'll pick the first one i'll let you pick i can't see what any of them are so, so you've got barbecue um smoky barbecue mm -hmm. salted toffee your crackers or your cricket what flavour of me crackers? They are rosemary and thyme. Or should we do savoury <coughs> ones and then sweet ones? Yeah. Okay, so these are eat grub, 
smoky barbecue crunchy roasted crickets. Yummy. Yay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the back of this packet is also selling them as um, <clears throat> as being sort of really sustainable. I think that's the big selling point for eating insects, the sustainability. <clears throat> yeah, the crack. Yeah, the crackers say planet positive protein. Oh my! Packed full of B twelve and fiber, super sustainable. I, I think that is the marketing angle behind eating bugs. Oh, we go. Because That's oh lord, an in bag shot. It's like a bag of Walkers, half empty. Yeah. All air. <laughs> now they do smell earthy. <laughs> earthy is not the first word that comes to mind, but the word I want to use you can't use on YouTube. So that's what they look like out of the bag. And uh... they are definitely crunchy. You know what? They're quite nice. They're, they're, they're a bit creamy. No? But I don't know. No. They've definitely got a nice smoky barbecue taste mm. to them. Yeah. We'll use a big one. Um, you've got a slight spice from what I assume is like pepper or something like that. Why should I eat crickets? As well as being delicious, they're an environmentally friendly source of protein. <coughs> Using less of our precious planet's resources to farm. Now that's why. Now dig in. Okay, to produce one kilo of protein. What? Am I reading this right? So to produce... Right, okay. So to produce one kilo of protein... For a cricket, you need one litre of water and one gram of feed. Whereas for a chicken, it's 2,300. Uh, a pig is 3,500. And for a cow, it's 22,000. Is that litres of water? And grams of feed. Oh, OK. So each. Wow. Yeah. Okay, thank you. No, I like those. I mean, they're very sustainable. I don't think people are ready to get over the, the psychological barrier of eating bugs. Yeah, I mean, they've said lovingly roasted by our chef Sebi. Cheers, mate. Well done, Seb. <coughs> Eat grubs, crickets are more sustainable than pork scratchings and more exciting than crisps. They are indeed. Okay. So, that's that. We're going to go for your crackers now, are we? Yeah, let's have a look at the crackers. <coughs> and again, we make the weird wonderful. Our cricket cracker bites are outrageously tasty and packed full of planet positive protein. Try saying that three times fast. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Vitamin D12 and fibre. If you like your snacks a little unusual and super sustainable, eat small giants. Ooh. I know. Cricket flour, rosemary and thyme crackers. So it these says nine grams of protein, but I don't know how many crackers you have to eat to get that. Probably the packet. Um, 40 odd grams. So yeah, the packet. So are these like cheeselets, but with bugs? No, they are not cheeselets. <laughs> they are most... Oh, Ooh, they're, 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 they're very herby. fragrant. They're herby. They look like golden grahams. Oh, they do. <laughs> and it, they look a little bit like golden grahams. Just like bigger. Yeah. Maybe that's why they're called small <clears throat> giants. Okay. A bit dry, said Kitty. Yeah. They're just herb crackers. Yeah, there's nothing. I think it's just because... Because it's cricket flour and not crickets. If that's the case, then you could probably put these in a bowl. 
when you have visitors around and not you know tell what? them. You could put those out on a table, everybody would eat them and nobody would notice. Yeah, you wouldn't know. No. I mean, they're nice. They're nice. But I don't think... I don't think it gets around the... These are bugs sort of thing. Yeah, because people don't know it's a bug. So... Apart from the fact that the packet tells you. Although if you had guests that you didn't really like. I mean, if you're looking to break down the sort of stigma of eating bugs, this is not the way to do it. Because people aren't going to know. No. But like I say, if you had guests that you didn't like, you could serve it to them. Let them eat a packet and then tell them what's in it and they'd never come round again. This is very true. I mean, they're nice. <coughs> right. Should we go, what do we want, salted toffee or your cereal bar? Mm. Go for the salted popcorn. <clears throat> okay. So these are crickets again. These are made by Eat Grub again. The grubs. They're, were they the people that made the barbecue <clears throat> ones? Yeah. Oh, well, I've got high hopes for these then. Okay. 42% protein, apparently. Oh, Lord. It looks like a packet of crickets and dandruff. They don't look as coated as the others, as the barbecue ones did. So, I didn't see that. <clears throat> Again, they're really good. Yeah. And I think this, this absolutely breaks down those barriers on eating bugs. There is no getting away from the fact that this is a bug. Yeah. It, it has eyes. It's it's a bug. But it tastes really good. Yeah. I think we need to look into more more of this company. Go grub. Go grub. Eat, Eat grub. grub. Eat grub. Always a biggie. <clears throat> I think they are definitely winning on the bug front. Here's a big one. Mm. They've got Facebook, mm. Twitter, Instagram. Oh, oh, yeah. They're all over it. I want you to join the tiny revolution. Oh, they're gluten free too. Oh, there you go. Wow. They're quite pleasant. Yeah. <coughs> so, your cricket bar. What does, have we got any sort of, we are cricket, the smartest bar out there, delicious, guilt-free, packed with micronutrients, and we use crickets. The tasty, nutritious, and sustainable protein source for the future. See, they're all really sort of packing home that it's a high protein. There's yeah. 20 crickets inside this, according to the packet. It's gluten-free, it's a source of fibre. So, I mean, for a that lot of people that have sort of going out there. allergies and stuff, though. 20 crickets in that is not a lot. No. That is a cereal bar that has a dusting of crickets on <clears throat> So, I think if you look at... Oh, dear, that looks flexible. I think if you're looking for entry-level bug eating, this, this, this could be the one for you. You know, you don't have to jump straight in and eat a bag of bugs. Maybe, huh? Oh lord. That's it does look like bird seed. So yeah. what have we got in here? Pistachio, cocoa nibs and chia seeds. Oh is that well. pistachio in it? Yeah. Oh that's why that's it looks why green, green then. It does just look like an amalgamation of seeds and stuff. Oh that's really nice though. I prefer a proper cereal bar, but... But if I was given this or an Eat Natural bar, I think it is. Yeah. I'd go I'd for this. this. I mean, don't get me wrong, it tastes like... It does taste a bit buggy, to be fair. It tastes like, like the um, fruit sticks that you give, like guinea pigs and hamsters and stuff. 
and rabbits. Wouldn't know, I've never eaten one. Well, it tasted the smell. I haven't eaten any. No, I really like that. Hmm. They're quite nice. Wow! What? 183 calories for this bar. So it's one of those high energy bars to take up onto the moors with the young women. Mm. Let's have a look. Pistachio nuts, agar syrup, uh, chia seeds, hemp seeds, flax seeds, oat flakes, hazelnuts, rice syrup, puff quinoa, cricket flour, cocoa nibs, sunflower seeds, buckwheat, pea powder. And they're all from organic farming. Uh, persons who are allergic to crustaceans and or dust mites may also be allergic to crickets and they contain peanuts. Did not know that. Mm. I really like that. Is this a bad time to reveal that I'm allergic to dust mites? Wow, you've eaten well, them it's before. Not, it's not that I'm revealing it, you've known it for years, but I did, did not know that um, being allergic to dust mites meant you might be allergic to crickets, which I'm clearly not. No, you've eaten them before, it's fine. No. Didn't Mate. know there was a link, though. No. Oh. Well, that's really nice. Mm. That might actually be at the top of my list of the get grub things. Mm. I don't think it's that good. The eat grub stuff, <clears throat> definitely at the top of the list, probably followed by the crackers. Oh, really? Yeah. No, that's really nice. Hmm. I would get that again. Yeah, I'd eat it if you bothered it, mate. <laughs> but yeah, the eat grub stuff's really nice. Um, crackers, a bit disappointing, and I've had the um, crunchy critter stuff before, so. <coughs> Something up in a word? Grubby. I don't think we've used the word grub enough. Have we not? No. <laughs> no, I really like that. And I don't like barbecue things. No, I don't. But, but they are quite good. They've got a little spice to them. Mm. But yeah, we're going to go. Probably finish these off. Maybe not these because these were a bit disappointing. Oh, I'll finish those off then. You can have those. Okay. Um. Yeah. If you like this, great. If you didn't, yeah, we're going to go, we'll be back next week. Don't know what we're going to do yet, but no. hey. Bye, love you, oh, go. It'll be a surprise. Yeah. Bye, love you, bye. <laughs>